How's guys? What's going on? Welcome back to another video. So, a question I've been asked a lot: How am I reading my WhatsApps over my PC? And sometimes, like, I I leave my phone somewhere, and then I say, you know what? I'm replying from PC. Don't call me. Then they ask me, and people like ask me, you know what? How are you doing that? So today, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can access your phone WhatsApps from a PC so WhatsApp has come a very far away from where it used to be uh, back in the day where it was just for for sending messages and they've incorporated so much more features like I mean, uh, the status features from Instagram, and now the reaction features from Facebook. But that's a story for another day. Today we're talking about how can we access WhatsApp on our PC. And actually, you've been able to access WhatsApp from your PC from maybe about 2016, so about eight years now. But a lot of people still don't know and even utilize this function. WhatsApp can be accessed in three different ways. The first being your web browser. So if you say um, web.whatsapp.com and you can access it as easy as that on any PC, any browser, just that you would have to log in and do that sort of stuff. And I guess that's the easiest way to access it and also you can just log off disappear you don't have to worry about it so the way you can do that is basically um, when you open web.whatsapp you have to just scan the QR code and the way you do that is all you have to open do uh, all you have to do is open whatsapp and then go linked devices link a device and then some phones it'll ask you to scan your thumbprint to enter your PIN for security reasons. And then we have to just scan the QR code. And as you can see, it's logging us in. And there we go, it's linked. So first way, as I said, it's easy. Second way is you can download. Second and third is, is kind of basically the same thing. But basically, you can either download the executable application or you could go to the Microsoft Web Store or the Microsoft Store and then search WhatsApp Desktop. Basically the same thing. See, so what I did, I actually have both installed because I'm a bit of a shark. So, and in the same login procedure, you go to your phone, link devices, scan the QR code, and you're in. It's easy as that, and it's very convenient for times when you're in meetings and you can't be distracted by your phone. All you do, you have WhatsApp saved, or WhatsApp open. You can respond to messages, emails it's like basically the same thing and it's as easy as that but the one good thing now with whatsapp if so now as you can see uh, okay, whatsapp is having a problem opening there's my other whatsapp right let's close the application for now here's my whatsapp if i power my phone off off right you heard it buzz it's off if I power my phone off uh, whatsapp still actually works and there was actually a, an instance where one of the phones that I was using for the shop um, it broke the power button broke product showcase come in there we go so the button broke and I couldn't power the phone on. 
But luckily, I had WhatsApp installed on my desktop and I was replying to messages like that. And we still kept going until I found a replacement. So that's a very convenient thing. And even now, we can, with the rolling update of uh, reactions to messages, that's also been rolled out to desktop WhatsApp. So you can actually react to messages and even with the new rollout of stories or of uh, communities whatsapp groups are allowed to get bigger you can have more people on a call and even things like administrators can delete messages that are not supposed to be in groups and you no longer have to wait for the sender to delete the message but there is also more things coming for whatsapp like the introduction of WhatsApp calls and even WhatsApp video calls, WhatsApp voice calls and WhatsApp video calls on desktop. So that is something else that we can look to try in hopefully the near future. But anyway, uh, that's our video for today. Short, sweet. I'd also like to thank today's video sponsor, Access. So with Access, you can have access to ultra fast broadband and it's by far the best way to connect to the internet with packages that are unshaped, unthrottled and have no usage limits. So with Access Fiber, which we currently have at home, you can have infinite fun by never having to worry about how much data you've used because it's uncapped, ultra fast, so you can say goodbye to slow speeds and buffering. You don't have to worry about being tied down by a contract because all of Access's packages a month to month and you can change at any time. And you never have to worry about paying line rental. So you can save your money and it lets you get even faster fiber. And Access has a 24 seven legendary support team that's always on standby to assist if anything does ever go wrong. They've partnered with some of South Africa's biggest fiber network operators so all you have to do is search and see what they have to offer you. And if, if you are already signed up with a different provider, you don't have to worry. They make it as simple as a couple of clicks to change over. And besides just being a fiber ISP, they offer DSL, LTE, VoIP, as well as web hosting services. So thank you once again to Access for sponsoring this video.